stage to it. <laughs> hey guys. So uh, my name is Spencer, Mr. Daniels. If you're nasty. <laughs> Uh, so a little background on me. Uh, when I was young, I sort of bounced around a little bit. Uh, it seemed like every couple years, a family member would take me and, and drop me off at a, at a different family member's house. You, you know how, you don't realize how sad something sounds until you say it out loud. Uh, and so because of this, I, I sort of missed out on, on uh, having a role model or you know, being able to ask life questions and, and get advice and have the talk, which I still haven't had. Um, but I, I liked rap music, and uh, so I could always look up to, to rappers because they had this confidence that, that I lacked at the time. And like, I had posters of uh, like Ice Cube and, and Ice T all over my, pretty much all the, the major ices, um, except Vanilla. Fuck that guy, right? Um, I know. I was, so I was concerned at the time that he was going to sully the legitimacy of the white rapper. Uh. <laughs> and it was, so it was, very in, it was very in fashion at the time to talk shit about old Van Winkle. Um, and so I naturally, I, I followed suit. And, and so I, I wrote... I wrote these raps, and, and I'm not gonna lie, I wrote some fucking gems, you guys. <laughs> but mostly, but mostly not. Um, I wrote some pretty bad rap lyrics, and so uh, these are just some little snippets of the, the rap lyrics that I wrote, like little in the margins and, and all kinds of stuff. Just, anyway, here we go. <clears throat> I'm riggedy, riggedy, ripping shop. I'm flowing like a soda pop. That's it, that's it, that's the whole thing. My rhyming is precise, known to be naughty, also nice. And corny pop is paying the price, yo mother fuck vanilla ice. I'm never flaking, never faking. I never claim to be Jamaican. <laughs> I'm just a W-H-I-T-E-M-A-N bringing home the bacon. Yes, I just spelled white man. But if you guys love cultural appropriation and spell rapping, you are gonna love pig Latin rapping. <laughs> S-Y-A is they, I'll stay ill way. Ake me, ooh yay, ush re ute, the e wine ray and say, well now, what did he say? <laughs> and uh, just a little peek behind the curtain, uh, in pig Latin rapping, every word rhymes. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> <laughs> Makes it a lot easier. Uh, and so, at, at, at some point, I, I fell in love with this girl who was, was way out of my league, and, uh, and I, like, was head over heels in love with her, and so every day, I would come up with an excuse to go to the mall where she worked and, like, bring her an Italian soda, because that's what she liked, and, uh, just for an excuse to talk to her, and, but I had no clue, like, how to, like, ask her out, uh, ask her if she was interested or any, anything like that. I didn't know how to flirt. I didn't know that I, what I, you know, what I had to offer until, you know, if maybe someday I made it as a rapper. <laughs> I mean, I might be missing Mac and Mac at Mickey D's. Mickey D's, Mickey D's, yo, what's the time, please? <laughs> I missed my Mac, go back to the shack. Now I'm Mackin' Roni and Cheese. My lyrics put you in a trance, and girlies drop their pants, and... I didn't finish that one. I don't know. <laughs> something, something, dancing, I don't know. I float like a butterfly, and I kick ass like a donkey. It should be easy to see that I'm just naturally... funky. Funky. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so I, <laughs> believe it or not, I, I never actually showed her any of these lyrics. Uh, I'm sure she would have been impressed. Uh, but we did start hanging out a little bit more, and we, you know, we would just sort of drive around and hang out, go to the movies, talk, whatever. It was great. And at the end of the, at the, end of the evening, I would, like, reach out and shake her hand. And, and <laughs> like, looking back, it seems it was polite. Um, but, you know, it was just because I didn't, I didn't know how to initiate. And, and this went on for months, and I was getting a little bit sexually frustrated and confused, but of my own doing, I'll admit it. Um, and so, naturally, I would turn to the aforementioned ISIS, and uh, they taught me everything I needed to know about women and sex. <laughs> what could go wrong? Um, and out of this, and my sexual frustration, I guess you would call it, came some very awful, misogynistic, <laughs> terrible rap lyrics. I'm sorry. I'm picking up on the girlies whenever I can. And if the girly has a boyfriend, yo, I don't give a beaver damn. We're gonna, we're gonna work up to the good stuff, you guys. I've got a tough cock, see, as if my name was Rocky. Hard as a rock, but we ain't living in the Stone Age. It's not about rocks, it's cocks. More like the Bone Age. So, I want to make it very clear. I want to specifically apologize to all the ladies in the house for this next bit. Hashtag me too. Hashtag ally. Hashtag it was a long time ago in a different era and I'm not really excusing my behavior, just that in a long enough timeline, everyone is capable of being the change they want to see in the world and make, our own, make all of our women feel safe and respected and appreciated. That said, this next part is called Lyrical Sexpression. Well, that's a prick tease sneaky, freaky on my jizzock. I stick it if it's slickery, hickory dickory, suck my kizok. I'm niggity niggity knocking boots, knock knock, yo, who's there? I stick in my joust, touche, she shouts, I don't care to share. My diggity diggity dick grows like Pinocchio's nose. And yo, I know some hoes who throw their clothes off and in I go. Uh, I'm tickety tagging, I'm not bragging, I just snaggle the puss. I, I flick my bick, I stick my dick, I push the bush until I gush. Oh, sticky like honey. You know you like it. Don't try to act disgusted. Now the honey's acting funny because on her tummy, the nut I busted. I thrusted. I'm a nut buster like Poindexter. I had the hoe in my home. I had the bone. I had to sex her. Fuck. Hey, it goes on for a while, and I'll... I, we're on a time, it's a whole thing. Um, but I'll stop with this. The only dog I dig, I'm giving a bone to doggy style, then down your throat, don't choke, forget the coke, here, have my cock and a smile. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, <laughs> believe it or not, after all that, I was still hanging out with this girl. And, uh, and one, of her, one of her friends at some point was like, you know, why haven't you made a move? She's totally into you. You should tell her your reps. Um, <laughs> I didn't. Uh, but but it, I, did, I did work up the nerve to finally kiss the girl that I was in love with. And she kissed me back. And then like a week later, moved across the country. 
I haven't talked to her since. I had broke, I know, I broke my heart. Uh, and I, but I put away the raps and I started writing like actual songs. <laughs> Some that were very introspective, I guess. <laughs> Making love with a spoon. <laughs> That's where sacrifice is at. I couldn't be blunt with a fork. So let's stick with the spoon. I adore tossing your hair. It makes such a beautiful salad. <laughs> Feeling the need to get to your brain is just so overwhelming. Others that were, that were not as introspective as that one. Huh. Mother, Tucker, ooh, I want to fuck her. <clears throat> Eat her pussy, lick her ass, wonder, is that crass? Son, son, wipe out the filthy truth with some Dr. Ruth. I turned the channel and started over. Leave it to Beaver is what I want of you. I can whip out my dick and spew goo <laughs> all over her belly and make her real smelly. <laughs> she, fuck. She can walk home like a glazed donut. I'll laugh as I twist in my nocturnal emission, wonder was it worth the price of admission <laughs> to eat from this nasty little fruit basket? Being so fucking young sure makes you feel like a dick. <laughs> uh, so still, none of, none of that worked. Um, <laughs> and then more raps. Uh, you gotta be schmoove. I don't know why I put that H in there. You gotta be schmoove if you want to keep up with this fella. I'm a cold bro, not ice. And don't call me vanilla. <laughs> God, I was so mean to vanilla ice. I'm sure, he's a nice guy. Me and my crew were drinking brew because we don't do you who. So you who cuckoo who you who too. You're fucking gibberish. I'm raining on your parade and I, uh, poop your party. I'm down with OPP and it's in my nature to be naughty. <laughs> oh, you guys, um, this has been great. Um, I will say that, uh, you know, I, I, I never had the opportunity to, to have my rap battle with Vanilla Ice. I did finally get over the girl, in case you were wondering. And I do still have the Ice Cube poster. It's, it's, uh, it's no, longer, no longer on my wall, but um, that's all I got. But I want to take this opportunity to, to, to bring Vanilla Ice up and, and make... Is, did, did he not show up again? <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Like the quota. <laughs> <laughs> 
how you bring me Italian soap. Yeah. And I guess we have a friend in common who's telling you that you've been rapping and you're robbing. That's the future of this rapping. Uh, but all these rhymes that I'm making, I just want to be clear, I'm not Jamaican. In case that was on the table and that was confusing you, I'm not Jamaican. Yeah. 